Now, if you've ever wanted to know what our Secret Service is up to, then David has all the answers. He's been to see the latest film to hit the box office, Kingsman The Secret Service. But David, is it actually a film about our Secret Service as we know it? Well, no, it's not our Secret Service per se. It's the Kingsman are sort of a group of gentlemen spies who operate sort of under the radar, so not even the government know they exist. They sort of do everything under the radar, so whenever they do save the world, no one knows about it. But they are very much, it's very much a film in the sense of the old spy movies and it's very much a plot is to, to destroy the whole world and they're here to save it. Um, we know that the film has drawn in some really, really big names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got people like Colin Firth, Michael Caine, um, Mark Strong and of course Samuel L. Jackson. I think the thing with this is they're all sort of having a lot of fun. It is a film that's supposed to be fun and they're all clearly having it. Colin Firth gets to enjoy quite a few good um, fight scenes. You know, Michael Caine's enjoying his thing um, and Samuel L. Jackson as the main villain, he's really going all out and it's, you know, they're all having a good sense of fun. And I think what's quite bizarre about this film is actually the lead character isn't any of those names at all. It's uh, a new guy on the block, uh, Taron Egerton. Yeah, I mean, he's very much the lead into the story. So, you know, with films, you normally get a sort of a way into the sort of King's service, and he's like the new recruit. You know, can he hold his own? And so it's him training up, and we go through. But what's interesting, he's like a council estate guy. It's like, no, you can be a gentleman as well. So it's sort of doing away with the usual sort of class struggles. And being a gentleman is about how you act, not about sort of what culture you come from. So it's, you know, it's very good to get him in there. Do you think that, you know, when we've had things like the James Bond classics through the years, do you really think we need another spy film? Well, I think spy movies these days are sort of quite serious. You've got, you know, your Bonds and you sort of, the recent James Bonds are all quite edgy, it's realistic. I think Matthew Vaughan, the director, wanted to go back to the old spy movies. It's all a bit unrealistic, but it does work really well. It's really fun. I recommend that everyone you know, check it out. And when can we go to the cinemas to see this? Well, it came out last Friday, so it's about now, so it's well worth your time if you fancy it at the weekend. Brilliant. Thank you very much, David. Now, let's see...